Photos obtained by the Middle East Review of International Affairs show the bodies of Syrian Kurds who appear to have been gassed by ISIS in the Kobani region earlier this year. The editor of the report, Jonathan Spire, says the photos indicate mustard gas or some other blistering agent was used. It happened after ISIS took control of a region in which Saddam Hussein was believed to have stored chemical agents. Iraq wasn't supposed to have chemical weapons. That's what the media told Americans over and over. But now the New York Times is reporting that U.S. troops were exposed to chemical weapons numerous times after the 2003 invasion of Iraq. It says the Pentagon kept the discovery of the approximately 5,000 chemical weapons a secret from investigators. Meanwhile, President Obama is defending his much-criticized strategy against ISIS. This is a operation that involves the world against ISIL. Our coalition is united uh, behind this long-term effort. But the White House all but admitted that an aerial campaign alone is not enough. Airstrikes will have an impact, uh, but that impact uh, is constrained by the fact that there aren't uh, forces on the ground that can follow up on those airstrikes uh, to end that siege. In Baghdad, CBN News reporter Chuck Holton says ISIS is doing a great job of manipulating the U.S. media. If they can threaten Baghdad and get the U.S. media all worked up into a frenzy over it, it's almost as good as if they took Baghdad because what the, you know, this, this group is very good at the, the media battle space. They're very good at winning on the media front. And there is concern the White House will lose its allies in the region if the president is not willing to commit ground forces to doing the job right and doing whatever it takes to defeat a deadly enemy. Dale Hurd, CBN News.